So it's day 14 of the London Film Festival and tonight we have a very British offering for you. New film Glorious 39, directed by Stephen Polyakov and starring a right royal British cast. Namely, the lovely, lovely Bill Nye, friend of Love Film, Romola Gary, Doctor Who star David Tennant and Hugh Bonneville, all of whom will be gracing us with their presence tonight. My daughter Don't worry. Up. Um, how um, are you? I'm very well, thank you very much. Hello. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you. <laughs> are you all right? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Hello. How are you? Hey, I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm slightly dopey, but all right. I suddenly found myself at a film premiere. How does it feel to be here? I was on the sofa about 10 minutes ago reading a book with a cup of tea. It was all a bit nice then. Uh, how am I, did you ask me? I'm very, very well. I'm, I'm pleased to be here. I'm in a good film with Stephen Polyakov. It's my third time working with him. Uh, I'm working with Romola Gary again, who was my daughter in a film called I Capture the Castle, and with Juno Temple, who was my daughter for film trivia fact fans out there, <laughs> was my daughter in I uh, uh, Notes on a Scandal with Kate Blanchett. Um, and I always like working with Stephen, and it's a big fat thriller, and uh, it's a groovy thing, and we're at the London Film Festival, which is great. Hello, Hugh. Hello, Do you love Hello. Love Film? Love we love it when people. <laughs> How are you? Very good, thank you, yeah. Um, do you mind telling us a bit about your character? Uh, Gerald Williams is a, uh, he's a sort of uh, B-movie actor, a bit of a stretch, and uh, uh, he's a has-been, even more of a stretch, and uh, he's, a, he's, a, he's a great friend of uh, Romola Gary's character, uh, who's, a, who's a rising uh, starlet, and uh, together they sort of uncover a bit of, uh, a bit of family history that they'd rather they hadn't. And what was it like working with Stephen Polyakov? He's a British legend. Well, he is a British legend, and uh, I think the most interesting thing about him is his straws. He has, he, he always on the set has a drinking straw, uh, and in life he has a drinking straw. I don't know where he must have some. I've heard about this, so I wasn't sure whether it's true. I don't want to ask him in case it was a bit rude. Yeah, well, no, well, I think, I mean, I think he must have someone following him around with a box of drinking straws because he always has one in his hand, and you know you're in trouble on set when he has two straws, you know. I like working with Stephen Polyakov. Now I've been hearing about his drinking straws. <laughs> And, uh, and Hugh's been telling me that he had two drinking straws, that was a bad yeah, sign. He had two straws, that was bad. If you knew the scene wasn't going very well, if it was going so fast that the straw started to make a whistling sound, you know, because the sound guy would suddenly start picking up a kind of, and you think, well, is it a plane or? No, it's Stephen's straw going round at a magnificent speed. Yeah. Bonkers. Yeah. <laughs> Was it? Um, where did the origins of Glorious 39 come from? Where did you start first thinking about the idea of the film? Um, I got really excited the discovery of what a close run thing it was that we're, we're all here, that we didn't do a deal with um, Hitler and stay out of the Second World War. There were lots and lots of people who were trying to um, make us um, um, not fight Hitler and, um, and not make Churchill Prime Minister really powerful forces, the Secret Service, the aristocracy. And it was finding that. The, story I got really excited about because I didn't think it had been told. It's a very different story to the Battle of Britain and um, exciting story and one that also I had a big personal connection because I wouldn't be here if people like Romulus character hadn't been brave so um, that's why I wanted to make it. There you have it, a very British red carpet for the London Film Festival which seems only fitting.